Hello everyone. If you are watching this video, you are probably trying to be able to climb and use the new motion matching animations on different imported assets in your game animation sample. I've seen a couple tutorials on this including the original guy whose GitHub repo we will be using to make this work, but they either have no talking, only tested on basic cubes, or they run into some issues with certain assets blocking the motion matching animations. I have found some fixes for certain assets and will show you how to make them work in your own game. The first step is to download the zip from the GitHub and extract it to your desired location so we can add the necessary files to the game animation sample. I will link the creator's YouTube and GitHub so you guys can show him some love because he's the reason we are able to make this work. His name is Utmat Farak, and I'm probably butchering that so I apologize in advance. Without him, this wouldn't be possible, so thank you again. After we download and extract the zip, we are going to copy the components folder into our project. Select content and I will paste it into the blueprints because that's where the character blueprint is. Open up your project and we can get started. Once you are inside your project, I'm going to be adding a couple assets that I'll be showing off the climbing and traversal actions. You can use whatever asset pack you want, but it should look climbable, so don't place down some trees or a weird statue and wonder why you can't climb it. I will be using some barrels, crates, barricades, and a shipping container to show you how to replicate it in your own game. As you can see, in the normal game animation sample, it's almost like they have an invisible wall or no ledge to grab onto. Once in the character BP, Click the Add button and search AC Trace Traversal and AC Trace Traversal Calculations. In the event graph, we will be updating the Jump Slash Traversal section. The first thing I'm going to do is make it a little bit more organized and give myself some more space because we'll be adding and deleting some nodes. We are going to drag the new component AC Trace Traversal and create a Try Traversal Action without Traversal Actor. Set the debug type to for duration. We can then delete the Try Traversal Action, reorganize it, or leave it spaghettified. However you like it. And then start reconnecting the nodes. Connect the Get Traversal check inputs into your input connection. Reconnect the branch node and then connect the Traversal check and Montage selection to the OR node. And then finally we can reconnect the remaining branch node. Then we will do the same thing again. Drag from the AC Trace Traversal node, create another Try Traversal Action without Traversal Actor node. Get rid of the Try Traversal action and connect the branch node and the Check Inputs node. Hit Compile and the hardest part is done. Now when we try to climb onto the meshes we added into our level, we can. Not just the traversal blocks that Epic put into the project. We can also vault over certain meshes too. There are certain meshes that don't work as intended, and like I said in the intro, the videos I've seen either skipped over these or didn't try to fix it or just use simple cubes to test the vaulting. We get stuck or it looks like we hit an invisible barrier and it's not triggering these animations. I will show you how to fix that. What we're going to do is go into the static mesh, into the details panel, and make sure it's set to use simple collision as complex. Then we're going to add a box simplified collision to the mesh, and then hit save. Now when we test, as you can see you can vault over the certain meshes you once couldn't. I will do the same thing for the barrier just to show again. Add a simple box collision to the mesh, then hit save, and the animation should now work on the assets that you added. If this helped you out, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.